Hey YouTube, this is um, Small Child Rules here with um, another video. Pretty much this video is going to be about was just me showing you a website for a certain pod community, which is Achievement Hunters, which are people that go for achievements on the Xbox. I tried this, I tried checking one for the Trophy Hunters for PS3 people, but unlucky enough for you, it doesn't work. They've had it on block, so unlucky for you, but. Fucking hate this new Google shit. Press enter to search. I am. Right, there we go. I don't know what's fucking me up. I don't know what's going on with my laptop today. But pretty much, this is what it will happen with trueachievements.com. It will have all the blog and everything of what's happening, all the Xbox information and stuff. Pretty much, this website is to help people with achievements on old games, new games, anything. So here's the home page of my profile. It says stuff like I am sixty third thousand sixty three in the world of hundred six thousand. I feel pretty happy about that. So pretty much just the friend feed of on the right side here, these are the friends except for me over there and two of the people that I actually know in real life. Go away. Thank you. The other two people I've met online from going in booster sessions with them. And pretty much on here now it will come up when they have a new achievement or join a boosting session or anything. So pretty much True Achievements is a website where you meet wonderful nice people online and you help each other go for achievements. As you see here it also comes up with like what achievements, I don't know if I've already said this or not but it comes up with achievements that you had so early today I got 4 Guitar Hero World Tour achievements complete the game on easy medium buy self and play as a certain character so I'm good at that I created a uh, what else I joined a Tony Hawk's Project A session which was early today and for that, because of that, go away. I don't know how lot many times that's going to do that. And uh, because of that, I got two achievements, which is play online, play one online game on the Tony Hawk's Project A, and be a developer or someone who has this achievement. So yeah, thank you for that person who helped me on that. So pretty much, if I go on my games up here. Pretty much, you can pick any of your games out of the list that you've played since his website will scan you of what games you've played. So, if I pick Gizzle 2, because that has well, probably, I reckon, the most popular game I've seen for booster sessions, I pretty much will have the list of achievements there are. And unlucky enough with this achievement, this game doesn't have super achievements. But it will come up with a link saying like details and secret achievements. So it will come up with like stuff. Also, if you look there, it will say guides for people. So if I click on complete a suicidal missionary, I click on the guides. It will come up with like the most popular guide. If I scroll down, it will come up with a guide. It will come up with a guide. So it will help you for completing the mission. The achievement, I mean, one second. If I go back, whatever game you go on, on the right hand side, if it doesn't lag up on me for about 15 billion times today, if you see, I have gaming sessions and I have a list of gaming sessions of what time, what day, and all that. So if I go on this one, and I know this one because if you see, compared by small child rules. It was created by me, which is going on tomorrow, seven o'clock at night, for two hours. So, if you guys want to sign up and want to get these two achievements, the Lost in Transition and No, but his face rings a bell for Gears or Two, then make an account on this and join session. So pretty much, that's about six times now today. I have when you make a booster session you have to put like details and stuff so like it's so, like for me I put Doggerty 
good communications, like if you don't have a mic or you don't need to use a mic, then just be good at the game, help others out and all that. Any order, so we'll do this achievement in any order, I don't mind. And yeah, pretty much if you scroll down, it'll be me and someone else. So I don't know him in real life, I've never met him online. So random people from across the world will join set will join boosting sessions and they will help you for achievements. Now what will be a good one? If I go back to my game I gotta think it will be a good one. I'll just go a burn up paradise for now. If I go on a burn up paradise so that you can so you've noticed you can create boosting sessions now. It's so like you can just pick whatever game, whatever achievement, and just wait and see what people will do. Also, what I, you have to add them on Xbox. You have to add them and then invite them to the party. So if I go on Sunday, if I go on this piece of session, Burn Up Paradise, it will say like, Err. I don't know what I'm gonna say. It will say like achievements and stuff. Somewhere should they like join session, but apparently for this, it has. For going this one quick, oh, I can do this one actually. One game required. For some reason that hasn't came up with like, do you want to join this boost session or anything? Unless it has, but I'm missing it. So you can also post, like, if you're going to be late or if you want to do a different day, ask the host for a different day, then you can ask for. Oh, there it is. My mistake, I found it. Only for friends, only for old people doing it, it'll have their. I did not mean to just fucking join that, but. You know, just for now. So now it says I've joined it. Congratulations, you, you are now added to the game in session. You'll be emailed now before the session starts. But I did not mean to click that. So if you want, if you can't make, it, if you've joined a session, but you found out you can't make it, you will be able to leave. Reason for leaving. What's it? Meant to join. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah, that's pretty much true achievements. It will help you with game score a lot more. When I started, I started. No, it's friends. I registered on the 14th of October the 10th, and it is now the 6th of November. And I had about 14,000 G when I started. I've now gained 2,520, I'd say around that, since I've joined. So yeah, it really helps you uh, on old games like Tony Hawk's Project 8. I haven't played it for about a year. I was thinking, oh, let's see if anybody's making the boost session randomly. And someone was, so it's all good. Any game, loads of games, they'll help you with. Lost, I've seen Lost Planet, uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8. I've seen other stuff, it's just, it's just, it'd be really good. Also, some people, after your boosting session, some people will give you feedback, like this. I had three goods, so, happy face. But I've had no feedback or any notes because I'm a noob. So yeah, later on I'll get feedbacks and all that, so yeah. If you want an achievement hunter, but you want still want more gamer score, and if there's any achievements that you can't get because nobody goes in it, like I'd say Tony Hawk's Project A, play a hundred games, or any Call of Duty 2s, as that person right down there got two achievements, them two, and I have no idea what they're for. So yeah, if you're an achievement hunter and you want more game score then I'd say probably go on this and it will be good for you it will really really help you so 
Thanks guys, this has been Small Troubles and I'll see you in my next videos. See you later guys, good luck.